After the Newtown, Connecticut shootings that left 27 dead, including 20 children, parents across the country have been searching for ways to protect their kids. Body armor companies have come up with a bulletproof backpack. It's selling like crazy, but does it really work? A news anchor Carrie O'Brien investigates. It looks like your average backpack, except this Jansport bag comes with a built-in ballistic paneling. Bullet Blocker is one of several body armor companies now selling bulletproof backpacks, and they tell us sales have been booming ever since the Sandy Hook school shootings. Bullet Blocker claims the backpacks, which range in price from $230 to $280, can stop a bullet from most handguns. So we've decided to put the bullet blocker backpack to the test. With the help of the folks here at Colonial Shooting Academy in Henrico, we're going to take aim at the bag using several guns that you see here to see if this bag really lives up to the claims. Based on the recommendations of the vest, we're shooting a 357 Magnum with hollow point bullets. We're also firing a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, and we're taking aim with this assault rifle. And that is the most powerful, right? Uh, of the ones we have here, that is correct. It's similar to the gun Adam Lanza used in the Newtown school shootings. We filled the backpack with a book and some stuffing to give the bag resistance similar to that of a human body. And we are shooting from about 15 feet away. And that should give us the effect that, uh, that would be found in a classroom. First up, the 357 Magnum. It did not come through. It went through everything in the backpack until it hit the ballistic panel. Okay. That stopped it. So if a child was wearing this, it, 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 it would stop it. It would stop the bullet, knock him down and hurt him, but it wouldn't kill him. Up next, the 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. No penetration through the vest. Once again, the ballistic paneling in the backpack blocks the bullets. You can see it better when we open up the bag and find the bullet inside. There it is. So that didn't make it through the book. But now Coleman loads up and takes aim with this military style assault rifle. Bullet blocker doesn't claim the backpack will stop this weapon, yet we want to see what happens. You can see that came through the back which we, I suspected it would. So the bullet blocker backpack won't protect against an assault rifle, and not much does amidst Coleman. But our test shows the bag does live up to the company's claims of stopping the bullets from a handgun. If it stops those, it'll stop any handgun. And Coleman reminds us it was a handgun the Virginia Tech shooter used to carry out his campus massacre. He believes this bag, which can cover most of your vital organs, could be the difference between a child's life or death. Between the book and the ability um, best, it would have saved his life. It looks like a normal backpack. Right. We showed the backpack and our test results to some local moms. That's the uh, bulletproof paneling, this ballistic paneling there. For Sue Allen of Chesterfield, the Newtown shootings hit close to home. Big push. She has two kids in elementary school and grew up in Connecticut. You send your kids to school and you want them to feel safe and you want to feel that they're safe. But despite the bag's ability to block a bullet from a handgun, she doesn't plan on buying a bag. My first thought is it's sad that that this would even be created. Okay, let's let, let, let be it. Gina Reeder is also a mother of two. I need them to trust and I need them to love their school and I need them to love their freedom. And, you know, to, uh, to arm them is really taking some of their freedom away, isn't it? She advocates for tougher gun laws. Arming our children with, with protective gear is diverting the issue. Our parents also wondered if students would even be able to grab their backpacks in the event of a shooting. We did some checking. Richmond Schools tells us students can carry their bags around with them wherever they go. Both Chesterfield and Henrico schools tell us there's no district-wide policy about backpacks. But in Henrico, each school determines what is best. And in Chesterfield, some of the secondary schools ask students to keep their backpacks in their locker. So so would a student be able to grab their bulletproof backpack in the event of an emergency? That's a big question. Carrie O'Brien, 8 News.